congratulations on the win. Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, everyone is important, but with this one, considering the lineup, uh, considering the situation, um, you know, you can, you can learn from losses, you can learn from wins, but how important was it to, to get a win for, for this group? Um, well, Jada, what I would say is every win is important. Uh, this franchise always strives to win every game that we play. Uh, I think that was, this was a complete team performance. So the answer to your question is yes, it's a very big win. It's a very big team for the group. You know, I've always said this is their team. I saw some of the comments already that Raul said. I heard what he said in private to the locker room. I heard what Freddie Montero told players going out on the field prior to the game. I saw what JP's leadership was there. Spencer Ritchie. I mean, Spencer Ritchie had a tremendous game. I mean, that group came out and persevered under challenging circumstances and got a result. Jeremiah. Yeah. This lineup, when, when it came out, I think uh, you probably wouldn't be surprised to hear that fans were, um, you know, have very different reactions. But what was the confidence that you had in putting this group together? And what was your instructions to the team in terms of, uh, you know, staying together and being organized and, you know, not, you know, not letting the moment get too big for them? The players we put on the field, the young players that we put on the field earned a chance to play in this game. They earned that, Jeremiah. They've worked hard. They do what we ask in practice. They understand what we want, the objectives. And for us, you know, as coaches, you know, there wasn't a ton of, you know, tactics and whatever. We tried to simplify it to like, you know, three really succinct defending schemes that we wanted to do. Uh, the attacking movements, maybe a few more, uh, just because Big Sam, you know, needed maybe a little bit more help. But we tried to simplify it for all the young kids. We tried to get the older guys or the senior guys. I don't know how many there were actually. JP started and Yaimar, but you know, uh, you know, we just tried to make those guys be leaders on the field, which they did. I thought Yaimar had a tremendous game. I think JP. You know, starting as a captain tonight was very, very good. So, you know, again, kudos to the entire group. I think that was a very massive team performance. Masvida. Yeah, Brian, you mentioned this, and but just the play you got from uh, Josh Atencio and Richie in terms of their defensive play can you talk a little bit about that and what you saw from them yeah I mean look Josh played a lot of center back at defiance that was kind of in the in the period where we were curious as to you know what's Josh's best position you know is he better as a center back is he better as a number six I still believe he's better as a six uh, uh, but it just shows his versatility and that's obviously a good thing for me to have and again as far as Spence is concerned I mean he had a, you know, a veteran presence out there. You know, he's played some MLS games. He's played some big, big games. So his uh, contribution to the team effort, I can't understate. Felipe. Uh, coach, congratulations on the win. So what does it take for a coach in the MLS to line up five younger guys and finish with uh, younger guys? And, you know, this is another chapter in MLS for you. I know you're not into much into uh, um, records and numbers, but what can you tell me about that? Well, again, I would, Felipe, what I would repeat is, you know, the Sounders, the, look, the, number one, to start with the young players. Again, they earn that chance to start in a big contest. They earn that, they work hard, they do all the things they do. 
the coaching staff has done a great job to take some of these young players and give them instruction and help them through some of these moments. But what I truly believe, what I truly feel right here is the fact that the culture of this club, the fact that we want to win every single game, the message to the group for the last day and a half was we didn't come down here to play a bunch of young kids, to make it a good story, to make it, oh, well, we played five guys and five teenagers, and oh, it's unfortunate that the players, you know, that the Sounders didn't win. That's never our intention. Our intention and the culture of the club, the winning culture of this club is always, I don't care who we put on the field. The expectation that we have as a coaching staff is that they, A, number one, outwork their opponent. That's number one, that's a given. And then number two, they understand the tactics that we want and, and the expectation that every game we believe we can win. And Felipe, that to me is what's important. The culture of what this club is about, it's about winning. And those young kids did a great job of demonstrating to all of you, to all of you, that that's what they believe. Because those kids believe they could win. You saw Reed growing into the game. You saw a 15, Felipe, we had a 15 year old kid on the field. And I believe, I don't know if you want to see the highlights or Alex or not, but I believe he nutmegged Alex ring. I don't know, in the middle of the field. I mean, you guys tell me. You guys can watch the game again and you guys can tell me. Alonzo Contreras. Thank you, Matt. How are you, Coach? Congratulations uh, for the win. Coach, I want to ask you, when you see uh, Raul Ruiz Diaz scoring this amazing goal and they he can get called for the Copa America, what crossed in your mind? Well, that's okay because I love that he's here. I mean, you guys have to... I don't know if you guys, well, maybe you guys have all seen the replay. We're, we're the coaching, we're, we're, we're watching in the locker room the replay of that goal, the view from behind the goal. I mean, it reminds me of the goal that he scored against LAFC maybe a year or two ago. But that, that is an unbelievable goal. Raul always knows where the goalkeeper is at all times. The ball drops for him. He hits it first time. I mean, that is, that's goal of the year candidate for me. Just because just because of who he is, a true goal scorer. I mean, not many people are going to take that chance or that risk of hitting that ball first time over the goalkeeper's head. Not many players are going to do that. But Raul Ruiz Diaz does. So credit to him. Uh, Jada Evans. Thanks. Uh, Brian, can you share a little bit about the uh, your tactics in, in the sense of the substitutions? Did you always plan to put in your veterans at the 54th minute, or was there something that you saw that you wanted to make the changes uh, beginning in that moment? Well, I actually was going to take JP it out at halftime, uh, but the game was going in our favor. And so I decided to just see what the first five, six, seven minutes of the game were going were gonna to be. And then as it was developing, we just decided we needed fresh legs in there. So, you know, those tactics were just, you know, let's try and stay in the game. Let's try and just do what we, you know, what we came here to do. So I think it worked fine. I think the subs that came on did a great job. All right, guys, reminder, if you'd like to ask Coach Schmetzer a question, uh, please use the hand raise function. Probably time for a few more. Uh, we'll go to John Lupo. Uh, Brian, you mentioned how you thought that Reed was growing into the game. It seemed like when they had 73% of possession in the first half, he was able to get a, a good shot off the really tested Stuber, and he was able to set Sam up for another shot. What, what do you think he was able to do, and how was he able to adapt so quickly that he was able to continue to grow and get better as the game went along? Well, those of you that watched, you know, some of the Defiance games, uh, especially his last game against the LA Galaxy, Los Dos 2, 
uh, you would see a blueprint of what Reed is going to do in MLS. He plays in that pocket very well. He's able to turn and face forward and play balls forward. You know, his shot in the, in the whatever it was, 35th minute, you know, I really felt, you know, it's too bad that the kid didn't score because before the game, he was talking about it. You know, he's talking about, you know, being a good player and, and how he loves to play. And, you know, he was so excited for this opportunity that I think all of that adrenaline that he had inside him, you know, helped him in his performance. Uh, you know, he's a big kid, you know, in the second half, we we're kicking the long balls to him so he could challenge in the air. We'll keep working on that. But, you know, again, Obed, you know, Ethan, uh, Danny, Josh, I mean, all the kids, they, they, they played tremendous. All right, we'll circle back on some follow-ups. Uh, Jeremiah, go ahead. Yo, was there any concern about having so many young players in at the same time? And did you, I don't know, did, what, what did that, like, do you, you feel like you had to give specific instruction just because of that? Or did you just treat it like, a normal starting lineup like you would anyone else? Well, of course there was some concern, Jeremiah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, come on. Of course there was some concern, but we coach the way we coach, whether it's Freddie Montero, Raul, Madranda, Yaimar. I mean, we still coach the same. We still coach to win. We give the kids instructions. We know our players. Again, you saw Raul scoring the goal. It comes and hugs Brecky. You know, Gonzo does a great job with, you know, Obed and Reed and Danny and all that. Jimmy does a great job, you know, trying to get Ethan prepared with just a sim simple game plan. Our tactics were simplified, yes, because of the young players, but that's not to say that we didn't use some of the tactics that we do on a regular basis with the first team. We still use those tonight, and those kids understood it. So, you know, I mean, again, credit to the coaching staff. All right, Jada Evans. Thanks. Uh, Brian, can you um, clarify a little bit as far as the conversation that you had with Raul? Is that uh, normal for you to, to, to check in with a veteran about what you're going to do as far as the starting lineup goes? Or um, the broadcast made it kind of seem like you yeah, that you did that, that you kind of checked in with him as far as the, the playing so many uh, young players. Jada, I check in with my players uh, on a consistent basis. The young players, the old players, you know, the middle-aged players. Uh, it's important that the players have buy-in to what you want to do. If you can get buy-in from your players, whether they're young or old, it always helps in the performance of the team. And so that is what I think is important, whether, you know, Taylor and John made a special note of it. You know, I think Raul has been great with the young kids. I think Freddie's been great with the young kids. I think Yaimar helps the young kids. I help Steph Fry, you know, helps the young kids. I mean, they all, it's a tight group. So in that sense, it was nothing, I mean, it wasn't anything that was a big deal. It was just normal course of business and Raul, being the team guy he is, perfectly understood what we were trying to do and went out of his way to help Sam, big Sam, to be effective in the game. So credit, credit to Raul, credit to all of our veteran players. All right, guys, uh, time for one more. So Mickey Turner, why don't you close us out? Thanks, Matt. Uh, speaking of uh, Ed Nier, and I wanted to get your thoughts on his play. He seemed to provide uh, some hold-up play for you. Was a little bit dangerous as well. Uh, just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on um, how he did today. Yeah, great. I mean, maybe could have scored. You know, I think the one shot that they partially blocked should have been a corner kick. I think his understanding of what we wanted to do and dropping him on top of a ring was a was a was a good tactical. Uh, understanding of what we needed out of him. And obviously you guys saw his physicality, physical, physical attributes that he has. So, 
again, very, very pleased with his play. He, he exceeded my expectations.